it's me again Cheryl your girl um, so today we're gonna try to learn how to drive a manual vehicle mind you guys I'm not a professional teacher uh, but I do want to like show you or teach you like the tips I have like learning how to drive a, a manual vehicle well first things first there there's like three tips that I actually want to tell you guys number one is to own a standard vehicle yes um i know um a lot of you would probably have the experience borrowing your friend's car or even your family's car but when you actually own one you have no choice but to go to places driving your standard so it kind of like force you how to uh force you to drive and like learn it okay number two never ever ever try to get your partner teach you how to drive a standard car well it goes in like things in general but it's just like the fact that uh you guys are very comfortable with each other and like having the fact that oh it's your you're a beginner you're kind of like uh um let's say like eager and like scared to drive so you get a little bit sensitive well i guess it's not just like come with your partner sometimes i find it like hard to like listen to to your parents when you're trying to like learn um part of it not a lot of people being like or being told what to do so um if you guys could afford to actually um um, hire someone way better but something very close to you trying to like learn how to drive a standard car uh good luck <laughs> sorry and um lastly it was a very very important thing is believe in yourself like i know you are very scared because it's gonna be your first time trying to learn how to do it trying to drive a standard car but the fact that you're already thinking about to like how to drive uh, you're already there so good job so you just kind of like need to know the the house and um you know to like uh, learn how to drive the car um so yeah give yourself a credit okay thank you so the secret in driving a, a standard vehicle is make sure that your brain is somewhat working in a four different motion at the same time probably hard when i'm like saying it but once you're actually in it and then you're trying to like do it every day um you're it's a muscle memory so your muscle remembers that oh my left gotta do something different oh my right's gonna do something different oh my left foot oh my right foot um yeah so definitely it's very important that you guys own a manual car now a lot of people would ask me is it better to uh buy uh an older vehicle compared to like buying or like financing a newer vehicle um, i'm a little bit biased because like for me it's always about the safety i have noticed that it's actually really hard uh, really hard to learn standard on a uh older vehicle compared to the newer vehicle well first of all the clutch is already worn out unless it's like change like you know and again that costs a lot of money and then number two um newer vehicles does have a uh, hill assist so in toronto in the philippines when we're driving a standard vehicle um sometimes you're on like top of the hill and you're on a stop and then people are like behind you um, and then there's a person in front of you. So upon changing gears, um, there's a very big tendency of you rolling back. So now on the older vehicle, they don't have that kind of feature. So um, sometimes you get a little bit panicky and scared. And then you just like ended up hitting another person. So that's a no-no for me. So um for me i i think it's just better to like learn and try to do it on a newer vehicle just because of the hill assist or the brake hold from honda uh it's just like gives this me like a little bit of a peace of mind right so but like if i sell a vehicle and i know that the person is like not uh uh it's like trying to learn how to drive manual so for like for me kind of like somewhat give me that peace of mind that i know they're gonna be safe that's all <laughs> so now we're gonna start with the parts of the car so i drive a 2019 honda civic si as you have known from like my other videos so it's parts is of course important the steering wheel <laughs> you gotta learn how to know that and then your shift and then your parking brake 
um, later I'm gonna try to show you guys what is a parking brake on a older vehicle and then the brake hold that's very important for people who's trying to like learn how to drive oh going back to my shift so you see the map on my clutch one two three four five six gear and then the reverse okay and that's that's the the start engine start again with other vehicles you have to um, use the key to turn on the engine and then of course a very important part is your clutch that one is your brake and that one is your gas pedal okay gas pedal gas pedal <laughs> okay so clutch brake gas pedal shift knob so the way your gears works um it's actually like somewhat going in an h direction so if you watch me how i move the the shift knob one two three four oops it's hard five six and then all the way to the right for the reverse okay so watch like when i'm doing the motion that i'm actually trying to copy like the lines here on the top so i could go to the right gear next step make sure you wear the proper footwear um a lot of people drive with flip-flops their sandals um sometimes even with their heels when you're a female Coming from me selling vehicles, sometimes I have to wear my heels and I have to drive vehicle. In an automatic, it's a little bit easier, but I find it very, very hard on a standard vehicle. So the shoes that works for me are my Converse. Um, I don't know, but it's just like for some reason, whenever I drive it, the friction to my feet from my um, clutch, brake, and then gas pedal, it just works very, very good. So I'm going to show you guys my shoes, okay? This is what I use. Um, so I'm going to try to explain. Um, so when you're starting the vehicle, so your, your feet, your left foot is on the clutch, your right is on the brake, and then you're going to start the vehicle. And then you're going to let go on the brake from your right foot, okay? And then slowly, slowly at the same time, releasing the clutch and slowly pressing on the gas. This is what they call the biting point. It's really hard at first. <laughs> um, you're probably going to stall a lot, but that's okay. That's why you got to make sure that um, you practice safe and mind, be mindful on the traffic, okay? So again, I'm going to explain, okay? So when you're starting the vehicle, left foot on the clutch all the way down, okay? And then the right foot on the brake. Release the brake and then slowly at the same time release the clutch on the left and then press the gas pedal on the right. Biting point. For me, this is the basic fundamentals of like driving a standard vehicle. So you see my left foot is actually pressing the clutch and then my right foot is actually pressing the brake. So when you're changing gear and you're already rolling, you got to make sure that your left is pressing the clutch all the way down and then you're right on the brake so you won't um, roll back or like move, okay? Yeah, try to avoid hitting some other vehicle, okay? So and then, because like when your foot, left foot, is actually pressing the clutch then you can go ahead and change your gears okay so when you change gear so right now let's say let's go to the first gear so first gear okay let go of the brake slowly slowly try to figure out the biting point by somewhat pressing the gas pedal on your right foot okay and then slowly releasing, watch my left, slowly releasing your clutch and then slowly somewhat pressing the gas but lightly. It's like taking care of a baby. <laughs> you gotta be make sure 
you gotta make sure that you're a little bit gentle okay not a little bit but really really gentle because for me if you don't get to figure out the biting point that's how you stall there's two things that are actually hard when you're trying to learn how to drive a manual. It's actually going to first gear and then going reverse. Forget about the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Well, sixth is a little bit hard too. But it, for me, it's mostly on the first gear and reverse that I had a very, very hard time to learn. Okay? So again, we're going to go slowly. So you're left on the clutch, right on the brake. Okay, so now that you're on your left is pressing the clutch, change your gear. Okay, release the brake. Slowly try to figure the biting point by going in a different direction as like releasing the clutch on your left and slowly pressing the gas on your right. Yeah, I, I think I think. I think you get what I'm trying to say that you have to like somewhat know where to go like how hard you have to like press on the gas and how slowly you should release on the shift on, on the clutch so it's easier for you to like figure out the biting point okay now I'm gonna explain the reverse so it's kind of like somewhat the same on the first gear but a little bit different because you're probably gonna stay on your clutch for a little bit why is because you're probably gonna stall <laughs> that's my issue from before i'm like mm, but i've been doing it on the first gear i'm like I, I i find it a little bit different on the reverse so um left again on your clutch all the way down and then you're right on the brake okay and then change your gear the shift knob to reversed okay and then let go of the brake and then put on the gas pedal but this way what how i do it sometimes so i won't stall it's like i'm half not even halfway or maybe like three fourth off the clutch while i'm reversing unless it's gonna be like a, a full reverse then you let go of the clutch right away but if it's just like somewhat like the parking space that you need a little bit of like a reverse but not all the way reverse then I uh, just put it on the uh, three fourth, I would say. Just like a little bit, just make sure your foot is there on the clutch so just your car won't die. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna start. Um, as I mentioned, uh, just make sure that you are comfortable with your position on driving the vehicle. Um, I am a very sharp person, so if you notice, my seat is all the way in front, so I could properly reach with my feet, like for the clutch and the brake and then the gas pedal. So um, I just try to like lean back my chair a little bit, so I'm not too close to my steering wheel. Wheel okay so um yeah so let's start so um i'm reversing right now because um i'm my face my my car is facing my front garage so i would go on the reverse so for honda reverse is all the way to the right okay so i'm releasing my parking brake i just like it in sport mode because it's more stiff on the suspension Okay, so trying to reverse right now. Mindful on the traffic, okay? Be mindful. Okay, I'm good in here. Um, yeah. Just gotta be like extra careful on my side because I'm on the main main road. I'm just gonna go quickly on my first gear because I'm blocking the way. And then when your engine start to like giving you that sound, to be honest with you, it's time to change gears. I'm making a left, so I'm gonna try to get food for dinner. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, because I'm making a left turn and I was already rolling, so I went on my second gear right away. Now, 
I'm on my third. I'm gonna switch to fourth. Clutch, put it down, slowly release, gas pedal. So, mm -hmm. now I'm gonna go on a complete stop here. Now I'm putting it into neutral. I'm trying to make a left. Now, when you guys are trying to change lane and you're still not comfortable with changing your, your gear, always try to do like on a complete stop it's always safer because you'll never know what's gonna happen if you miss switching right so now it stops so i put in the first gear second gear and i'm gonna go neutral i don't downshift yeah so i just like go to second gear neutral second gear and then ha, this is my trick always find a free parking space like this that you can just park like this <laughs> okay i'm just gonna check so i just reverse to like make sure <laughs> that i'm properly aligned okay so now we got here safe so um i'm just putting my car like the what do you call this the park the the I lost it. <laughs> Parking brake. And I turn off my car and then just put it on first gear just to make sure it doesn't roll back. It happened to me before. Okay, so that's it. We made our first drive. Good job. Okay, so again, when we're on a complete stop, make sure that you release your parking brake. I'm on my first gear right now. So I'm slowly releasing on my, my brake. And then I'm slowly gassing up a bit, slowly releasing my clutch and completely release, gas, change gears to second. And now I'm gonna be on a complete stop again. Because I'm making a left. Oh, sorry, right? Okay. Actually, no. I didn't completely full stop. Just go to second gear. Second gear right now. Changing gears. Third gear. Neutral. Making a left. Second gear. Slowly, slowly, guys. Then gassing up a bit. Releasing the clutch. Changing gears, clutch, releasing clutch slowly, gassing up a bit, change gears, so clutch again, like a baby, make sure you, you handle your clutch and your gas pedal really careful. Okay, so I'm going on a complete stop, neutral, making a left, right, I always keep on like confusing that. First gear, slowly releasing the clutch, gas pedal, change gear, second, change gear, third, now you don't have to go to four gear right away because this one is a little bit, yeah, four gear, now stop light neutral just let it grow go <laughs> okay so now we're waiting okay so but at this time i'm kind of like somewhat getting myself ready i push the clutch first gear slowly releasing everything gassing up again for my second Changing lane. The lady behind me is looking on her phone. I hope you see me signal. Oh, she put it. I'm gonna go here. Okay. She's on her phone. No good. Okay. Melvin's home. Okay. Now I'm parked. Voila! 
yeah so you just learned the concept or like the idea of driving a manual vehicle or standard vehicle and well i know that it's not like full detailed like i don't want my my videos to be boring and whatnot but um i just want to share how i drive and how i learn how to drive my advice again if you want to get your partner or your family member to teach you how to drive my uh, a standard vehicle by all means go just like me i found it the hard way um the only thing is at the end of the day right if you were scared and you still tried and then you eventually did succeed isn't the satisfaction more fulfilling <laughs> again thank you for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed and watch for the next ones thank you bye